Hey YouTube, what's up? Before I start, I want to give a quick shout out to Hells for Children. Thanks for commenting, subscribing, and all that good junk. Uh, you should check out her page. It's awesome. So, I just got back from uh, spring break and spent a couple days in Death Valley. And, of course, yeah, you don't care. Um, ended up staying about 50 miles away from Vegas and as I was doing whenever I go out of town I checked around at record stores damn it is hot in here hold on sorry I had to open the window it's like a hundred degrees here it sucks Anyway, so I check out uh, Vegas for record stores, found a couple, went to one, and really cool place, uh, Zia Records, Z-I-A, in uh, Las Vegas. If you ever get a chance to go down there, it is a trip. I've been to several... Um, different ones in other areas and this is by far the best one I've been to uh, well organized a lot of stuff from you know of course you got uh, vinyl they got CDs they, and they got all genres so whatever you you're into from Latin to country to jazz to pop music it's all there and it's awesome and they've even got video games going back to I think the guy said like Atari 2600 which is insane anyway um, back to what um, I'm supposed to be talking about uh, so um, as I always do um, when I go to a record store, I spend way too much and um, have to deal with everything um, when a bill's gone. Okay, um, let's see, that's free. Who gives a crap? Um, okay, picked up a couple of CDs first. Um, Lazarus A.D., uh, first album, uh, took me a while to pick it up, but I like this band, and I shouldn't have waited so long. Um, Danzig, I have a policy where if I download something on iTunes, I have to buy either the CD or the vinyl or both, and that's what I'm doing. And this is, uh, whoops, I got a yeah that um good. yeah that's better um this is a band called uh blood obsession the death metal band uh really interesting cover art and i'm a sucker for that kind of thing and so i decided to pick them up and that's all for that anyway back to the real reason that uh you guys are watching this um for vinyl, screw CDs. Okay, um, first one up here. Uh, the Who Live at Leeds. Uh, who's great? Uh, awesome band. And I've got this is like the fourth or fifth uh, album by them that I picked up. And it's in pretty good shape. Uh, definitely playable. Um, so that's really nice. Okay. Um, next one. Uh, for the record, I hate this band. I do not like them. I do have one other album by them that I got as part of a three pack because I bought an Ozzy Osbourne album and 
it came with it. It's the uh, original Rad EP from Time Coast, I think it is, not Atlantic, I think was the, um, yeah, uh, Atlantic pressing when it was uh, really re-released by them. Anyway, Rat out of the cellar, um, picked it up cheap and have it um, because for them, you know, it really was, you know, their biggest album, had their biggest hit round and round on it. Um, and again, I did the same thing with uh, Theater of Pain, uh, historical um, reference point, um, even though I am not a fan of the genre at all. Um, and of course, Tony Katane, looking the way she did back then. Um, the Call, uh, Modern Roman, Ro Modern Romans, sorry. Uh, Dad threw this in there, and uh, yeah, um, I've heard their stuff. Cool, and definitely a interesting um, album cover. I was coming back, they all fell on the floor of the car, and they got all got messed up. Okay, um, ACDC, if you want blood, um, big ACDC fan, uh, got a bunch of their stuff on CD, got a bunch of their stuff on vinyl, want more on vinyl, but need cash. Um, anyway, was able to pick this up, and, um, definitely going to play this one, awesome, you know, I mean, it's ACDC, you can't go wrong, um, Dire Straits, Communique, uh, big fan of Dire Straits, um, they're cool, and, um, I've, actually was introduced to them by my dad and I've been listening to them for years and um, another Dire Straits McNaughler piece cool okay next one is uh, there's a stick um, Cheap Trick Dream Police um, picked it up because uh, cover uh, intrigued me and um I like cheap trick anyway so figured what the hell three bucks sure um 38 special white eyed southern boys um yeah I think it's kind of obvious why I grabbed this one and why it grabbed my attention Anyhow, oops, sorry about that. Um, this next one I'm probably going to get some flack for. Um, not that I care. Um, did I get what I want? Uh, what I find interesting. Two Live Crew, as nasty as they want to be. Um, cool cover art, obviously, and, uh, you know, controversial, you know, piss off people that don't like it kind of stuff, you know, uh, makes old people gasp, and uh, 10 bucks, you know, for a sealed copy, sure, uh, another one that uh, my dad grabbed, had this on CD for, gosh, I think he's had it for about I don't know, something like a million years. Uh, but it's uh, Layla and uh, other sort of love songs. Uh, Derek and the Domino. Great Eric Clapton. Um, great Eric Clapton. And it's, yeah, I gotta speed this up. Um, okay. I'll run through, hopefully run through these faster. Um, 
village people cruising again more of a historical reference point um, you know I mean it does have the infamous YMCA so you know I mean can't it's too mad at me you know who doesn't know that song sorry about that um, this next one found it used eight bucks uh, Avenger of Blood decided to take a chance on them um, cool cover and I'm all into that um, I mean and the albums called Death Brigade so it's like yeah um, back cover so I would assume that this is either thrash or death and that's right up my alley so even if the album sucks cool cover art um, Mick Jagger she's the boss you know great stuff I mean it's Mick Jagger so again historical and you know, anyway it's all it's all good and all that um, this happens to be a promo copy um, which brings me to that one quick thing I will be doing a thread video of promo LPs and band covers I'm gonna submit uh, those two ideas to Mr. Hall of Fame to get a uh, those questions in the uh, in a vinyl community thread um, that's upcoming um, excited about this one mushroom head beautiful stories for ugly children saw the video and it was only because of that did I actually end up downloading the album and then buying it because uh, I don't particularly like this band I think like in my opinion like Slipknot and a bunch of other new age metal bands they're all about the image and the music takes a back seat and I don't like the music anyway um, anyway uh, enough on that uh, Fates Warning No Exit good stuff and saw that and I grabbed it um, as if I needed another Slayer piece um, this is the 2008 Metal Blade re-release of Hello Aids. Uh This is the last piece that I needed, and um, now I've got all original studio albums and all of the reissues, at least as far as uh, the Vinyl Conflict and the four Metal Blade reissues. Um, Outlaws. Um, you know, more good stuff. Old 70s. Um, I'll put this on the turntable. Check it out. I don't know how this got in the. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, well, anyway. Um, this one doesn't really fit in with. Yeah, it doesn't fit in with anything. Um, so, um, yeah, and it's not going in my collection. This is going somewhere else. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. But it's uh, something worth living for. John McCadden. Yeah, I have no clue who he is either. This was another... Th throw in and it's like okay sure um yeah so uh that's all I got and I've rambled enough I'll shut up now thanks to everybody that's commenting subscribing and all that and uh I'll have that uh thread video uh hopefully by I don't know, midweek, the latest by the weekend. Okay, thanks guys.